So I'm supposed to go to quality and then follow up by this. Camera rolling and action. <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm like sitting two meters away. But every time when the camera rolls and the audio goes, you guys are sitting too shout. Why do you need to shout? We are used to it. We are in production. <laughs> you know what, guys? I think it's time we use something like this. You know what this is? No, nope, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, viewers. Introducing the newest product from Ceremonic, and this is what this video is about a full review of Ceremonic's WeTalk WT5D. It's a full duplex communication system so that people like you don't need to shout. Go take this. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, first off, I want you to know this this is not a paid review. Ceremony emailed me not too long ago asking me that, Hey, Andrew, you have always reviewed our microphones. Would you like to review our newest product, the Ceremony We Talk? And I was thinking like, hey, why not? Because I've always disliked yelling to the crew, disrupting the actor's concentration as they get into characters. So I say, send it over. I'll do my good points and bad points. And I want you to watch this with full confidence. So when the product arrived, it looked like this. A huge pelican case like box like this and inside there you find five headsets and they all have their boom mics which you can rotate and at the same time it's got this charging bank that is made for 10 batteries and of course there are five batteries and instruction manual and I would say this is pretty interesting anything that comes with a case like this that is robust gets me at hello so what is the ceremony we talk the WeTalk is a full duplex communication system where you can interact and talk to your crew discreetly. And it's full duplex. You're probably wondering like, what does that mean? Full duplex means like it's like your telephone. I can call you and talk and you can listen and midway you can even talk to me and both of us can communicate at the same time. As opposed to half duplex, like walkie talkie, you know you've got to press the button and when I talk, everybody else have to listen and when they talk, I have to listen. That's half duplex. And we have used walkie-talkie in our filming crew before but we totally hate it for a few reasons. Number one, when you talk, I can't talk. I don't know about you unless you are in law enforcement but I never get past the fact that all the words that's coming out from the walkie-talkie is so gobbled and half the time I cannot understand what is it being said. Time to set up the three parts. Guys, we have one mic stand with six or more. Guys, there's six stand on the sixth floor. Thirdly, you cannot clearly identify who says it. You know, all of us have to learn this communication system, a way of talking that goes like, Andrew here, okay, I want you to bring the actor over to be set and then bring along the makeup artist as well over. And then the other side will say copy, you know, which is, which, is, which is something that is you've got to learn, which is annoying. And here's the biggest beef. When you use a walkie-talkie and you're new to it or you have a new crew, they will always release the push-to-talk button way too early. So you're going to hear things like, Andrew, we are ready to do blocking at set 2. You guys ready, eh? Artis, ready. Do the even first. Andrew, we are ready to do blocking at set 2. Hey, blocking where? Productive, and that's why we stopped using the walkie-talkie. And that is why Yi Chong and Sandeep just depend on shouting, which is quite effective, but it is so tiring. And I really hope that we can have a better communication system. And our answer to that is the ceremony we talk, WT5D. Okay, let's start with the good points. Good point number one has to be the Pelican-like case. Love it. Look at that. It's so sturdily built. It's an all-in-one package. You take everything from it and you return everything from it. And it's foam padded and all the five headsets sit nicely in it. Sandeep, you know what I like about it the most? This. Those red latches to unlock the case. This separates it from all the ugly Pelican cases that we have. We have Pelican cases for the lenses, the follow focus system, the cameras. This is distinctive. Good point number two, it's really solidly built. I like the plastic, I like how it's really foam padded and you can actually remove this and then you have this nice foam padding as well and this is just ergonomically 
fitting. Look at it. I want to talk to Sandeep. I flip it down. I don't want to talk to Sandeep. I flip it up. I tried wearing this continuously for two hours, no problem. The only thing is that after the third hour, I'm starting to feel a bit claustrophobic and a bit sweaty, so I just flip it to the side like this. And if it really gets so tiring for you, you can actually like put it down here and yell. Look like a pretty set. Hey, donkey! I told you to set up that system like Jesus Christ. Some, somebody go talk to that guy. Right. Then you can flip it down and that Sunday you go talk to him. I can't talk to him. Easy to use. It's really simple to use. Look, when you open up the case, one of it will be labeled as a master unit and then the other four remote units. All you need to do is press this button until it turns on and then pass this to somebody. It doesn't have to be the producer or the director, just pass it to anybody that will keep this master unit on. And then all you need to do is pass the remote units to the other crew, turn them on, flip down this boom mic, and all of you are ready to talk. When somebody comes online, you're gonna hear this sound. When somebody goes offline, you're gonna hear this sound. It's that simple. There's no pairing needed. It comes paired right out of the box. I don't even think that anybody can read the instruction manual. So it's that easy. Just wear it, turn it on, and get ready to use it. Right, the interface is so easy to understand. There are four buttons here. The first button turns it on. And then you have this button, which is mute. All you need to do is, you can mute the microphone by doing this or flipping it down to talk, or you can press the button here to mute if you need to talk to somebody and you don't want to, no, 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 Sandeep, I'm not, Yichong, wait, wait, I'm not talking to you guys. You can flip this up, talk to the actors, talk to the client, talk to the producers and go like, yeah, those two guys at the back there, you look like those are monkeys, right? The producers too. Or you can flip it down. No, 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 I was saying nice things about you guys. That's how easy it is. And then you notice that there are additional two buttons here, a plus and a minus. So you don't need to have a rocket science degree to know that the plus sign turns on the volume and the minus sign reduces the volume for your earphone. So that way you can actually control how loud or how soft you want it to be. The range, look at this. This is a fantastic range. I've never seen this range before. How do they do this? Well, the answer is because the WeTalk uses this frequency, not the usual 2.4 gigahertz frequency that has been crowded by your Wi-Fi and the wireless microphone. In fact, that's one of the biggest problems. So recently, I did an outdoor episode in Lalaport, one of Malaysia's biggest and newest mall, and that was really annoying. There were a lot of spots where the microphone stopped working. The wireless 2.4 gigahertz microphone stopped working. So if you're in Lalaport, take up these stairs, go up these stairs, and find out where you won't find the speaker. Not the we talk. We have tested this. Look at the range. All right, the part that you've been waiting for. I know you're dying to know how far these comm units can work. So I have my master unit right here. On my left hand side, I have Flimmer Zyro. Not gonna tell you how far. And then on my right hand side, I'm gonna have Sandeep. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna talk to Zero. Zero, can you hear me? Can you talk to me? Give me a comm check. Hi Andrew, this is Zairo. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, loud and clear. And then Sandeep, on my right hand side, give me a comm check. Yes, Andrew, I'm here. Can you hear me now? Yes, can you hear them? How we are doing this is that there's a microphone connected to Yi Chong, who's got the fourth unit, and he got his leveling microphone connected to his, so you can hear both of them. I'm going to surprise you. Let's show everybody how far Zero is. He's at least 200 meters away. Zero, I want you to just wave your hand. That's how far he is. There is zero interruption. Let's show how far Sandeep is. I can't even see Sandeep from here. Right, that's Sandeep. You must be impressed. I'm impressed. I don't even get one bit of disconnection. Back to the studio. By using this frequency, it is in a not so crowded range. And the fact is that it's using a lower frequency gives it more range. So how this works? Well, this is a smart part of how Ceremonic made this unique. If you look at a lot of communication system, they actually have a hub. So you actually have to carry a box like this, which is not fun. So everybody will interact through this box and then be communicated. But the way that Ceremonic created this is pretty unique. You don't need this box anymore. One of the head units is actually a master. So everybody communicates through this master, like a middleman. 
So look at it this way. From the master to the nearest remote, you can go like 400 meters, and then you can have another one on the other end. So the effective distance is actually 400, 400, and it's 800. That's like almost a kilometer. And that's how ceremony extends the distance without you needing a box like this. So Sandeep, I was quickly researching to see how the other brands do it. Most of them would have a central unit like this, so that's, that's not fun to carry, especially when you're filming out though. And this is my most favorite good point. If I'm going to wear something and bring it to production, I've got to make sure that the battery life can last a whole production day, which is about 8 to 10 hours. That's what we film. On average, we do about 12 hours, to be honest, with the overtime clocking in. And the WeTalk can actually do 18 hours on the remote headset units. Now, the master on the other end, 18, that, that's crazy mind-blowing. Though the master, because he's serving all the other headsets, would have a shorter battery life. Oh, one word of caution. The master headset drains batteries more. This is because the master headset have to serve all the other four units. So if you're only using two remote units, the master headset would have a battery life of 10 hours. If you're using all four, it will only last five hours, which means that the master headset unit would be consuming more battery and maybe need two units. And that brings us to the next good point. All the headsets, you can connect power banks to them just by using USB-C cables. That way you can slip a power bank at the back pocket and then run the cable through and then plug it in when you run out of battery. And let me share with you a workflow that we do since we adopted WeTalk into our production team. When we go for a break or a short lunch, we're gonna pop up the battery and then stick it into the charging station. And when we're back, we just put it in, we're good to go. In the event that you run out of battery prematurely, you can always use your power bank with the USB-C cable. And the next good point, Look at this charging station. It charges up to 10 batteries, which means that I'm pretty sure Ceremonic will be selling the batteries separately. So that way, each head unit will get two batteries, which essentially will allow you to be able to use at least like close to 20 hours. This is refreshing to know because the walkie-talkie that we used to use only has a battery life of four hours, which is not fun to use. The last good point, I expected not to be able to wear the WeTalk that long. The first thing I got it was like, I actually wrote to Ceremonic and I say like, Hey Zoe, do you have a single ear version? Because in my mind, I was thinking like, I don't think I can wear it more than an hour. But the moment I pop it on, on my very first time wearing it with my crew, I was surprised that it's really comfortable. It's not that hot. The only thing is that that feeling kicked in only at about the third hour when I started to feel that, okay, out and about, not under a roof, it's, it's kind of hot. But it's really bearable. And what I really love about this is that I don't need to yell anymore, which actually saves me a lot of energy. And I can really talk discreetly, even though the model or talents were just like three meters away from me, I could go like, Sandeep, I just want you to get ready with the light so that the moment that she gets into character and got that pose, we can actually be ready to shoot. And in fact, it was so discreet and quiet, we could even whisper, who is paying for lunch later? To me, that is comfort. You don't need to yell anymore. And, and it's not tiring at all filming these days. Can we do the bed punch now? Wait, 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 wait. One more point. You know what I realized when I wear this, Sandeep? The noise isolation of these headset units is really fantastic you almost cut away all the background sound. And here's the thing, this microphone is actually voice activated. What I'm trying to tell you is that when my crew, none of them speak, I don't hear any background sound. But the moment one of them speaks, I can hear the background sound through their microphone, which is fantastic because of the, the technology they put in this, which is a voice activated microphone and you, you, get, you don't hear any background sound at all. Kind of cool, isn't it? And that's one thing I realized that since this is voice activated, you would expect that the background noise would activate this accidentally. It doesn't. It's quite smart. Okay, so it's, it's extendable as well. So you can adjust how comfortable you want it to be. So what I do is I can actually adjust this to be more comfortable. Okay. 
Wow, it's really silent now. Bad point number one, if you look at the cluster of buttons, this plus minus button is actually to increase or decrease volume to your own headset unit. There is no way you can get somebody else to talk louder. What I'm trying to say is there is no microphone volume. If somebody is speaking softly, you can't hear them. Right, so here is the solution that we found out. A passive active way. Wear this, and then the right way to do this is to put this just right under the chin, just, just about here. That way we don't hear those purr, purr sound when they speak, and this foam actually cuts that away anyway. So don't have it too far away. Have it just right about here. Put a finger and that's the best way to wear this. So yeah, perhaps they could have added a microphone volume button. So second bad point, I was hoping that this ear unit can be detached and put a single ear unit. So with a single ear unit, I was hoping that I can hear those people talk to me, like actors talking to me. Those people don't have the WeTalk, whereas I have the WeTalk. So this is for my crew on WeTalk. This is for people who are not on WeTalk. But sadly, the WeTalk doesn't come with this option. Right, so I was hoping that Ceremony in the future editions can actually allow us to like detach this and then connect this because this side is where you fit in the battery. There's a button here to pop this battery out. So the battery could actually sit this way. You know what I was thinking? Sandeep, are you thinking what I'm thinking? So I decided to be brave and take my screwdrivers and remove one of the ear unit of the headset. And lo and behold, with a bit of 3D design and 3D printing, and I now have a single ear version. Woohoo! Look, I got my single ear unit now. One word of caution, don't do this at home. If you do this, you're gonna avoid the warranty. Now, if you do it wrongly, you may even fry the unit and that's it. Okay, so Sandeep, do you want a single ear unit? I can make you one. I prefer the two. You talk? Not in hot pink. You prefer two ears? Yeah. You? I want two. You mean I'm the only one who need one? Yep. Love every good point about it. The only bad point I don't like about it is that I hope it has a single ear unit. Well, you know what? If you don't want to take a screwdriver to it or you don't want to go through all that trouble and void the warranty, you can do this, right? Just flip this to the side. That's it. That's how you do this. So finally, the number of good points and the number of bad points. Well, to be honest, I just find it really cool that I can't find any more bad points of this product. Truly because this is so refreshing. For once, I can go to production set, on filming set, or photo shoot, where I don't need to yell. So after all pros and cons considered, what do I personally think of Ceremonix We Talk? Well, I would give this a 4.5 star. Simple. I loved every point of it. I don't need to shout anymore because I, I totally dislike the idea that we are disrupting all the actors by shouting, you know, watch this. As Tom Hanks talked about Clint Eastwood, the way that he makes movie, just really silent. That's it, I'm docking off 0.5 star for the reason that I can't wear this for a stretch of anything more than three hours. It just hurt my ears and I get a little bit edgy and you know, I just, I just have to put it down. That's, that's the only reason. So Sandeep, tell me what do you think? How many points do you think you'll give the We Talk? <laughs> hey, hey, take the We Talk off, we need to hear you. I will give it also 4.5 stars. Why for, Why you knock off that 0.5 star? Actually, because of wearing it for 3-4 hours, my ears get sweaty after this. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's what I realized. I get sweaty too, which means that we have to start labeling this. Andrews and Sandeeps and Yi Chongs and Michelles and Corrines. Yi Chong, tell me what you think. How many stars would you give this? Uh, 5 stars actually. Why are you not knocking anything? Why are you giving it 5 stars? Well, it's a perfect fit for me. <laughs> Sandeep, it makes me realize that he's got the perfect ear. And you and I don't have the right size of the ear. Perfect ears exist. <laughs> one more time, bad take cut, sorry. Bad take cut, one more time, sorry. Bad take cut, sorry Sandeep. Sorry, bad take, bad take, sorry. <laughs> Batik, one more time. That separates it from all the other silicon. It separates it from all the other ugly silicon. Silicon, why do I keep saying silicon? Sandeep, why are you not wearing the headset? Sandeep!
Where the hits? <laughs> okay, I still think that my design is a little bit too big and bulky. I can improve on this. When I have the time, I'm gonna design another one that's smaller and I'm gonna put it on Thingiverse so that everybody, ceremony community of users can download this and turn this to single ear. But I think I'm the only one who won this single ear, right? <laughs>